Hello guys, this is Anushuj here with another rig improvements video and okay so I'm gonna go through everything all over again because some people are new to this rig so I'll just go through everything again. Um, so first of all you get these two folders. Uh, the first one you will download, this is the rig, the main thing. So you will download it through TurboSquid or you just ask me through PayPal. I earn a lot more money if you buy it through PayPal. Plus, uh, you will get one folder, not two. I'll explain that later. I'll explain it later. Um, so, you would download this to put Toa Squid, which is $30. And this, which is all the textures. Without this, you will not see your character. Unless you load in the textures yourself. Uh, which you made yourself. And, yeah, you'll have uh, the armor and some more assets that I'm going to add later on. So how to install it is you go to applications, Maxon, it should be here, Maxon, and you should find your Maxon version, which you have uh, Cinema 4D version here. But mine, I've moved it out, so Cinema 4D R13, you can either find like this. So then, then go to library, browser, and just delete the old ones and then just put in new ones. Uh, and yeah, so you have it installed. And you should immediately immediately have it here. No, you have to restart Cinema 4D. Then you should find the folder. So rig template. I still haven't updated it. <laughs> I will update it and then put it in the description for download. So once you load it in with while having the rig items, you will have all the textures. So this is the rig items. I have to update it as well. And this is the folder you will get if you download it through PayPal. If I, if you ask me, all the information will be in the description, so don't worry. Uh, so yeah, that's you'll have everything in one folder, which will be a lot better. So yeah, the reason for that is because Turbo Squid doesn't allow you to sell Minecraft textures and stuff, so it's illegal copyright. So yeah, so the, I'll first go through the new features and then go through the old features. So. If you like you can skip ahead in the video and so go to the description and click on where you want to go okay first noticeable this uh, noticeable difference is I've changed the textures um, just to change it up a little so yeah and then we have new controllers for the body so I love this new controller I'm gonna use it a lot so you can make him turn around like so as well as back and forward and it looks really smooth which is really cool plus you don't it doesn't take time to animate it it's a new feature I've came up with myself my, on my own so yeah and then we have these other controllers which um, the box indicates on which part of the body you're moving so it's really really easy to use and yeah, uh, next thing is the new rigid bends. Now the textures don't get messed up at all. In fact, looks uh, I mean, what am I saying? It looks really cool now. Um, and as you can see, if I show you on the arm, it looks better. I mean, like, as you can see now, the te the planes they do not they do not intersect. So actually, the textures are bending with it. So you can see this one stays there. It, it has a lot of things in it so as you can see it, it just needs to update and then yeah it will go back to normal. In the re final render you won't get these texture errors and stuff. So as you can see the textures move with it and uh, you can see that this is... It's not fully rigid but this is uh, the best you can do even bootstrap bootstrap rig is is like exactly the same it has this small texture uh, plane here to to show that it's not intersecting like to this is the only way you can do it so that it's not intersecting and the textures don't get then you don't see that the textures go into the the arm okay so the next thing is the mouth i completely redid the mouth so now it is perfect weighted perfectly um if you may open it too much uh, you'll get those black things but in the render it won't show but you'll never open it that far uh, so don't worry uh, undo so you can see it's thicker and now you can rotate it and everything and it won't 
before the previous one previous mouth if you rotate it there was some weird waiting going on I waited it pretty badly so yeah then we have I improved the the way you can smile a little I improved it a little and now you can move it into the mouth like so and have that nice little like thing and then in the render it looks better because uh, the hyper nubs I've set it higher in the further render uh, so yeah so open the mouth a little and I'll show you the new teeth so this one looks a lot better I prefer it like this so it's bootstraps teeth uh, kind of similar and then I added some nice textures at the back uh, and then we have a new tongue thicker bigger bends now and stretch it out and yeah that's the new mouth uh, then we have better eyebrows and uh, not better but can make it bigger and thicker uh, what else now you can rotate the eyelids 20 degrees maximum and you can yeah uh, so what else I have to see <laughs> Uh, so the mouth, thick mouth, better mouth, teeth, noses. Okay, so the next thing, that's about it for the features. But I'm gonna add be, be adding more assets to the rig. So now we have noses. This one from VM Comics. This is just some random other things. This is Bootstraps. The main character's nose, kind of similar, I think. Yeah, I just added it because it's just good to have just you don't have to model it and texture it so yeah and that's about it for the new features so now I'll be going through the oh yeah and I'll be adding another rig um, with smooth bends like smooth mouth smooth rigid uh, smooth bends and yeah so uh, I'll be adding it because some people like it I don't know some people have a different opinion uh, on what they like uh, whatever okay uh, yeah so the armor is just I'll show you how, uh, just go to my previous video I'll exp I explain how to add the armors and how yeah so I'll just go to my previous video on this rig I'll put it in the description I can change the textures of the yeah this one takes a while to explain so I'm not gonna do it in this one this video so now for the other features old features so we have the feet it adapts to the ground and then if you move it here you can put it back if you move something out of position like say you move this here move this here if you just zero out the coordinates uh, it'll go back to normal so it's like this and it's it's better if you go here coordinates and change it here sometimes I don't know why but it messes up the, the espresso and the range mappers so I really uh, highly suggest you use these coordinates on the attributes and not this one. I don't know why, but yeah, um, same for, oh yeah, and yeah, okay, so then we have the body, main controller, uh, well, to move the entire body, we have shoulders, so if you want to move the shoulders, uh, we have fingers, what I like to do is go to fingers, go here, and just do that, and then little by little, li little by little, just take the fingers and do something like that. Yeah, the visual selector is really handy for the fingers because, yeah, I added two more controllers here. Yeah, it's in a weird position, but I do care. We have Z, okay, that's about it for the body. And we have the mouth, expressions, position, teeth, you can move the top. We all know this, uh, so you're probably not going to watch this part. Uh, as I said, you can skip ahead in the video. Uh, scaling, sc blink, oh. and auto blink. What auto blink does is it blinks. Can set the speed as which yes how fast you want him to blink 
after every few frames, after every whatever frame. So yeah, pupil de depth, you can customize the eyes, you can move the eye eyelids more inside, I'm outside, this more I like so, like so, and I like the way that he looks when it's like this, but I like to also have it like this, uh, so yeah. And eyebrows can do that, like that, like that, like that, like that, and like that. And of course, we have the manual controls as well, like so, and like so, and teeth, like so. And then we have all the controllers here as well. Can move them around and move that. And yeah, mm. that's about it. So thanks. Oh, visual select fingers, head. We have that and mouth and yeah. Uh. Other, you can grab in whatever texture you like. I'll be adding a lot more in the next update. I'm not a lot more, but I'll be adding some more textures in the next update. So the Steve, this is the original. I mean, this one is the old one. So all you have to do is grab it in, then change the can off the outer head, change the eyebrow color to whatever color you like. And this is just for extra um, lip sync, auto breathe. Oh, <laughs> I have to fix that. Uh, and yeah, we have all of that extras such as blood and other stuff. And yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Downloads in the description. And yeah, bye.